Hey guys, let's talk about shapes today. So we have been working on shapes and the past few days we've been working on equal parts of a shape. That's when a shape is divided up into equal parts, parts that are the same size. Today we're going to take that one step further, okay? So I'm going to draw a circle. My marker's right out. Let's try this again. Okay, so here I have a circle. I haven't divided my circle up into any equal parts yet. So right now, this circle is going to be called a hole. Can you say that with me? A hole. And it's not like a hole we jump in. Okay, notice how I spelled the word hole with this digraph WH. Because this means this is a whole circle. Remember yesterday I said to think of, think of it as like a piece of candy or food. Let's pretend this is a cookie, okay? This is a whole cookie. Nobody has had a bite yet. Nobody has taken a piece out of it yet. It is the whole thing. So say that with me, whole circle. Let's do it again and do that with your arm. Whole circle, good. Now, let's pretend that I, I have my best friend over and she wants some of this cookie. And remember we talked yesterday, being a good friend means to share equally. So I'm gonna split my cookie into two equal parts. So I need to draw a line right down the middle, don't I? Okay, so I had a whole cookie but do I still have a whole cookie? I do still have a whole co cookie, but how many parts did I make in my cookie? One part and the other part. Mm, so there are two parts of my cookie, right? So if the whole cookie is called a whole, what do you think one part of this cookie is? And remember, I split it in half. So the two parts of this cookie, they're called halves. So we have half and half, okay? And that gives us halves. So I could say my cookie is divided into halves. Whenever you hear somebody say that their shape is divided into halves, that means that there are two parts, two equal parts, okay? Halves equal two equal parts. We had a whole, and now we have halves, okay? Do it with me. A whole cookie, now we have halves of a cookie. They have to be equal, though, to be considered halves. Let's try another one. Let's do a square. Okay, let's pretend, that's not a very good square. Let's pretend that this is a, that's still not a very good square. It's as good as it's gonna get. Let's pretend that this square is a candy bar. Okay, so I have a candy bar. Right now, I don't have anything splitting up my candy bar. So right now I have a whole candy bar. Say that with me, whole, candy bar, right? Or a whole square. Nothing is splitting up this square into any equal parts. I want to split the square up into two equal parts. So I'm going to draw a line like this. So now I have one part here and two parts here. So now my whole square is divided up into two equal parts, okay? Two equal parts, okay? They're equal. So remember, without dividing up my square, I had a whole square. Now, I divided up my square and it's not whole anymore. So now, I have this half. I'm gonna erase these numbers real quick because that might, come, I don't want you to think and I have this half. So now my square is divided into 
halves. Remember that word, halves. So I could say this square is divided into halves. I had a whole square, I divided it into halves. Two equal parts. Halves equals two equal parts, okay? What if I had the same square? And it's a whole square. Okay? What if I drew a line this way? Do I have equal parts? They are equal, aren't they? So I have equal parts. How many equal parts do I have? I have two equal parts. Two equal parts. Okay. So I started with a whole square, but when I split it up into two equal parts, what is my square now? My square is divided into halves. So remember that word halves. Again, halves means two equal parts. Okay? Now, hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we, we just talked about halves. Halves e is two equal parts. Let me write that up here. Halves. equals two equal parts. They have to be equal. If they're not equal, then it's not halves, okay? So halves equals two equal parts. Now, let's do, I'm gonna erase this so we don't get confused. I'm gonna do another square. So I have a whole square. Okay, now I have three friends wanting a piece of my candy bar. So now I have to split it up equally between me and three friends, so into four parts. Oh my goodness, how am I going to do that? Well, I know that if I draw one line down the middle, I'm going to have two equal parts. So let me just start there. I have two equal parts, halves. So I'm wondering if one line down the middle gives me two equal parts. Two plus two is four. So if I drew a second line down the middle, is that gonna give me four equal parts of my candy bar? Let's try it. Do I have four equal parts? I have one, two, three, four. I have four equal parts. So now, since I have four parts, this square is divided into fourths. See that? Four fourths. So that word fourths means four equal parts. Okay? Let's try it with a circle. Oops, <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Okay, so I have a whole circle, not divided up yet. I want to share this circle with three of my friends, so now I have to divide it up into four equal parts. Just like with the square, I already know if I draw one line down the middle, it's gonna give me two equal parts, just like this. If, for my square, if I drew two lines, it gave me four equal parts. Do you think drawing another line down the middle of the circle is going to give me four equal parts? Let's try it. Let's count. One, two, three, four. I have four equal parts. So now my whole circle is divided into fourths. And look at that key right here, four. Four fourths is four equal parts, okay? So just for a review, and don't worry because we're going to be spending a whole week on this. So if you don't understand it yet, you will. Um, whole, we need to review these words, equals one whole shape, one part, okay? Circle. Halves. equals 
two parts. And remember those parts need to be equal. Halves equals two parts. Fourths, don't forget this keyword four because it's a number word. Fourths equal four parts. And they have to be four equal parts. So a whole is one part, halves, two equal parts, fourths, four equal parts. Okay? All righty, guys. So in your assignment today, you are going to be decide, you are going to be looking at shapes that are whole, divided into halves, and divided into fourths. Okay? All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.